Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to run Google Ads for affiliate marketing. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be new to affiliate marketing or you might be just looking for a way to promote or further utilize or maximize your earnings in affiliate marketing. Well, in this case, you could actually run ads in Google Ads and as well do a bunch of things here to maximize the things or your ads that you'll be implementing. Now, first thing we need to do is you first have to visit the website that I'll be showing you. So first is going to be ads.google.com. Now in the ads at google.com, usually you won't be immediately logged in into your account or you might need to create an account. Usually at the top right, you should see a sign in or sign up button. But in this case, once you've created your account or once you have your account open up here, you should be able to see Google ads at the top left here. Now, there's a bunch of things that you could do here. Like for example, we have campaigns, we have goals, we have tools, billing, admin, and a lot more. But the most important section here is going to be campaigns. Now, in this case, before we actually create our campaign, we first have to uh, basically do and determine a few things here. So one of those things is to, de to determine your target group. Now, in this case, we'll be utilizing the tool trends.google.com. Now, in this case, this website or this tool from Google is actually a great way for you to basically see if a specific keyword or a specific item or a search result is actually worth advertising on. Now, for example, when you're in trends.google.com, you should be able to see this UI here. So for example, we're going to search for shoes. Now, from here, let's go and press on enter. Now, it's going to give us different results for this uh, specific uh, keyword. In this case, uh, by default, the uh, values here will be the current location or country that you're at, the past day, all categories, and web search. Now you can change a bunch of things here. Like for example, if you want to look out how many, like for, for example, for the past hours, past 12 months, past 30 days, or past seven days. They can even switch up the categories. Like for example, we want to say this is going to be around, let's just say this is going to be on the uh, people in society or even basically just choose whatever is actually a word for you. So for example, shopping. Now, in this case, you have your web results here. You could change this to user search, uh, Google Shopping, or YouTube search, or image search here. But in this case, we'll be keeping this as web search. Now, as you can see, you have the interest over time. Now, the higher the graph or the point in time here, the more people are actually searching for that specific type of keyword. As you can see, there's a lot of people searching it as, as of May 6, 2024. There's going to be a 92 interest over time score on it. In this case, it means that a lot of people are actually searching for shoes in the following region, which is going to be Australia. By the way, you could actually change the location if you want to and choose the country that you want to basically target. Like for example, if you're in the US, you could target the US or if you're in the UK, you could basically type, uh, target or type in UK here. Now, we also have the interest by sub-region. So currently, uh, the interest over time on New South Wales is going to be 100. So a lot of people is actually interested in shoes as of this moment in the New South Wales section. In this case, there's going to be a lot of things that you view here, which is something really worth noting because we want to first determine what is going to be our target group because determining your target group for your campaigns is something really important. In this case, what we need to do is we want to go back to campaigns here and from here to create a new campaign, let's go and click on the create at the top left of your screen. Now in this case, you can go and click on campaign. Now from here, once you've done that, it's going to ask you to choose your objective. So in this case, we'll be using the option that says sales. And from here, scroll down a bit and look for the option that says shopping. But depending on your need, like for example, if you're going to use Google Ads for a different purpose, you could basically use search, video, demand gen, display, and a lot more. You can even uh, choose a different objective here for leads, website traffic, app promotion, and a lot more. But in this case, we'll be choosing these two options here. Now you have the option to basically 
uh, use the following merchant center account. By the way, if you don't have a merchant account yet, you all you need to do is you need to create one. So it's actually pretty easy. Just click on the option here that says link merchant center account. And in this case, you just need to create or follow the steps for you to create your account. It's actually pretty easy. I just input my uh, website's uh, URL, a business name, and uh, basically any details that they need. Now in this case, once you've done that, it's going to ask you select campaign subtype. Now in this case, uh, perform max campaign here, it's going to actually use Google's automation. So it's going to maximize everything for you. But since we want to pick some uh, details or settings here, you could just choose standard shopping campaign. Now it depends on how you want to run your ads, but in this case, it's going to click on continue. Now you need to enter a campaign name here. So for example, it is going to be a test campaign. And from here, what we need to do is fill out all the details. We have the bidding here, which in this case is going to be the bidding strategy. In this case, you could choose from manual CPC, maximize clicks, and the target ROAs. Now, by the way, if you're not sure what is this, so bidding is how you pay for people to interact with your ads. A sufficient bid and high quality product data will earn you an ad higher rank in the ad auction. So we all know that whenever uh, your ads is going to be um, released out there, there's going to be a internal bidding for it. So what uh, what ads are going to be rele released on a specific web page. So yeah, so that's what's happening here. Now we also have the budget here, so you should be able to set your daily budget for this campaign. So you won't be able or your campaign here will not go over your daily budget here. So this is going to be your daily budget. Now also you have the campaign priority here. You could choose low, medium, or high. Now we also have the targeting here. We have networks. So if you want to include this to search partners, so whenever someone actually search for something on Google, uh, your ad has a probability of appearing in there. We also have devices here. So ads will show on eligible devices by default. So we have locations. So you can choose which location you want to showcase here. Like what we mentioned before, since uh, shoes are now popular in Australia, you can just go ahead and go back into locations. And uh, from here, you can choose enter another location. Just type in Australia or your chosen um, specific location. So for example, let's go and choose this one. Now in this case, scroll down a bit here. So we have the targets of presence of interest of so people in regular or in or who've shown interest in your targeted locations or presence people in or regular in your targeted locations. In this, this case, you could choose whatever option here if you want to. Now you also have the create ad group here if you want to add an ad group name here and your bid. So enter your cost per clicks. So for example, maybe I want to say it's going to be around, let's just say around 100 Philippine peso, which is around two US dollars. Now in this case, uh, what you need to do is uh, basically uh, add, use the additional settings here if you want to. So in this case, you have the inventory filter, local products, campaign URL options if you want to set those. But in this case, these are going to be advanced, so we only want to use the basic one. Now in this case, once you've done that, you can go and click on create campaign. But also, we want to add our daily budget. So let's go ahead and add our daily budget here. Click on create campaign. And that should actually redirect us to the next page. And also, alternatively, you could just go back and create a new campaign here. And from here, choose your appropriate options here again. So for example, we want sales and maybe you want to use search. Now from here, it's going to say select ways to you'd like to reach to your goal. So for example, we want to use website visits. And from here, we just basically enter the URL of that specific link or affiliate link that you want to promote. Now in this case, you have the choose your sales, conversion goals, purchase, or per subscriptions. You could, look, you could go and click on see more if you want to. Uh, now in this case, there's going to be a lot of uh, things to choose from. So in this case, you could just add your campaign name here and click on continue. Now, like what we did before, you will be able to uh, basically change or uh, basically uh, choose the options that you'll uh, be able to fill out here. Like for example, you have the conversions. So in this case, you could go and click on the clicks option here. So what do you want to focus? Set maximum cost per clicks bid limit here. So for example, you go, we are going to limit this to 100 Philippine peso and just hit on next. There's going to be a lot of things that, uh, that you'll notice here, like for example, setting the location, languages, audience segment here, which is something uh, really cool whenever you're doing a search functionality here. 
And from here, you can just basically set up things that you want to do here and settings that you want to include for your campaign. Like for example, in the audience segments, you could basically uh, search for like, for example, it's going to be shoes, just press on enter. And from here, you should be able to see different ones. So shoes in market, and you can basically add boots if you want to, even socks, uh, and even a lot more here. In this case, once you've done that and fill all the details here, just click on next to complete your campaign. Now in here, we now have the keywords and ads. Now, for example, for keywords, you have the suggestions for ads here. So if you want to create yours or help create an ad, you could go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and click on create myself. Now, from here, you have the option to enter URL to scan your keywords, enter products or services advertised, and basically enter your keywords. Also have the ad section here, which in this case is going to be the final URL, the display pad here, and the headlines, descriptions, uh, site links, and even the call outs here. So you could go ahead and add, just add uh, in this section here. But for example, in the ad for or more maximized performance here. So in this case, it's going to be the site link shows additional links in your ads to take people to specific pages of your website. Now, if you want to add different links here, you could go ahead and add it in here. In this case, once you fill out the details here, you just basically click on next here and basically save your campaign. Now from here, you need to set your daily budget for this campaign. For example, this is going to be around 1,000 Philippine pesos for mine and just click on next. Now from here, it's going to start loading and saving that. Now once your ads are published, you could go ahead and go to the campaign section, go to insights here and you should be able to see different information or details about your campaign. Now that includes interaction, cost, average cost, and interaction rate. Now in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.